horses built this country. If you look at the history, horses started here. They belong here. They fit well here. There's nothing like watching them sail across the landscape. The United States and the citizens owe it to these horses to provide them with adequate care on and off the range. In wild lands, wild horses, we want to concentrate on three things. The wild horses on the range, and we really want to take you to the landscape. The second part would be communication. We want to talk to the ranchers, the BLM, the advocates, the scientists, whoever has an opinion on wild horses, we want to talk to. And then after that, it's adoption. We need to get the 45,000 wild horses that are currently in the corrals adopted to loving homes. We have to work together and lay aside our differences for our wild lands and our wild horses. It's never been the fault of the cow or the horse. It's always been human error. We reach out to a variety of groups whenever we're making land management decisions. Oftentimes, some of our best ideas come from the public. One person can make a big difference. It's not always just about the pretty horses, but how do we conserve this ecosystem? Seeking truth and finding what truth is is the hardest part about this whole project. I want to do what feels right, and my gut says, let's do this in a positive light, make America fall in love, and give the horses a fighting chance by showing stories, their story.